Hey guys, here I have a laptop that apparently is not working properly. So these are going to be a new quick fix series. It's an HP ProBook and as you can see, it's very dirty, probably pets, it's full of hairs there. And uh, the issue with this laptop, apparently the keys are not working properly. So I'm going to open it, as you can see, it should be very easy to open. I'll remove the keyboard, clean it, and let's see if that fixes the issue. Okay, so we need a normal Phillips screwdriver to remove the first panel. And then we're gonna pop it out. If you have a look, you will see the symbol of the keyboard here. These ones should be the one holding the keyboard to the frame. So we're just gonna remove them. This laptop should be only three. And I will also remove this panel just in case sometimes you have other screws holding there. And I don't see any other screw. And I will push a bit in the spaces here to see if the keyboard moves. And I will try to make the space to fit my tool. If you don't have tools, you can always use a bank card. So what you're gonna try to do is to pop the keyboard. So there's some latches and we're gonna try to walk them out one by one. Don't pull too hard because you don't want to rip the plastic, especially on old laptops, the, the plastic breaks very quickly. So just go one by one slowly. And once you have most of them, you can wiggle a bit the keyboard and it should come out very easily. When I started at the beginning, I didn't have any tools very long time ago. So I used to use all my membership cards, such as the library, the supermarket points card and everything, and place them in different spots. So it was uh, easier. And once you have it done pull, we still need to disconnect the ribbon cable. There's a little latch there, you just need to lift the lock in this side, sorry, and just pop it out and then you just pull the cable out, the ribbon cable. You can see. In this sticker you will have all the information about the keyboard in case you need to replace it. Make sure the ribbon cable has the same uh, pins. And for the cleaning part I will use a toothbrush and I will uh, start cleaning first the corners to agitate all the dirt and then I will use some compressed air. You can buy this type of cans uh, in any store so it's very easy to find and always very useful. I also recommend you to have some isopropyl alcohol or contact cleaner around. It's always useful also. And a microfiber cloth and you just wipe it off. And then I will do the same with the keyboard. Just need a toothbrush. Try to agitate the keyboard properly to take everything out. And uh, then I will use a contact cleaner or alcohol in the keys that were not working, such as the E key that apparently was problematic and hopefully this fixes the issue as you can see everything that was stuck under the keyboard to place the keyboard back is the same 
you place the ribbon cable, you push it a bit and uh, once it's at the end you just lock it with the latch and then you're gonna press in the corners until everything clicks you will hear it and uh, always test the computer before putting the screws back just give a quick test make sure everything is plugged and everything is done properly otherwise then you have to remove all the screws again in this computer is easy but other computers <laughs> it can take uh, a while it seems okay so I'm gonna power it off and put all the screws back And I will place the three screws back to hold the keyboard and then place all the covers Okay, so now it's supposed to be clean. I also changed the thermal paste of camera and everything. So let's power it on and test the problematic key. So let's get into Word, for example, and test key by key. Everything is smooth, it seems correct. So we'll say it's done. If this wouldn't fix the issue, I will just replace the whole keyboard. They're usually not expensive. You can also change the keyboard layout to another country. And that's it guys. I hope this video was helpful. As you can see with common tools, it's easy to do. And I see you in the next video once again. Thank you for watching guys.